Hello YouTube, this is Matthew Williams bringing you a video about Mr. Albert Budden. And Albert Budden is a UFO researcher who has written books and uh, he says that he's interested in alien abductions. Now his research leads him to believe that alien abductions can be explained away by electromagnetic interference. And that when you have pylons near your house, electric pylons or microwave towers, that these radio waves and the types of radio waves you can get in electrical equipment around your house this will permeate the brain and cause you to hallucinate rather clever and rather detailed alien abduction scenarios and um, you know like electrical interference is going to be intelligently uh, guiding you to have an alien abduction experience but anyway this is where Albert Budden's research has gone very interesting stuff um, claims to have worked with a number of scientific establishments and is taken very seriously uh, because of his work with these establishments. Trouble is, um, a researcher called Stan Conway went and, well, he spoke to the Breakspear Institute, which is one of the institutions that Mr. Budden claims to have worked with, and Stan Conway rang them up and said, does Mr. Budden work for you, or has he worked alongside you in the past? And they said, oh yes, we know Mr. Budden's name. We know his name very well, because he keeps using our Institute's name and claiming that he has worked with us. And we have not worked with Mr. Budden, and we really do wish he would stop using our name to gain credibility for his own research. So, naughty, naughty Mr. Budden. But, anyway, in order to validate the fact that there was a problem with this, I actually rang up Albert Budden, and I, uh, this was when I was a UFO researcher, I actually said to him, uh, what's this, Albert? You know, apparently the Breakspear Institute says that um, they don't actually uh, acknowledge your research and they don't work with you. Um, goes against what you're saying. And his response was quite interesting. Now, being a researcher, you do have to actually record your conversations because sometimes people will turn around to you and they will say, I never said that, I never said that, no, 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 black is white and white is black and you must have heard things because I never said that. So, it pays to record conversations. But anyway, what I wasn't expecting was the absolute fucking freak out that Mr. Albert Budden uh, did when I rang him back because he um, he had a good shout at me and I thought well give him a bit of time to calm down then let him you know let him sort of get himself together give him a ring back and see whether or not you know you can get some sort of decent response out of him and this is what we got enjoyed that little recording of Mr. Albert Budden. Um, kind of says it all really, doesn't it? And I, I play this, uh, I've played this over the years to uh, cheer myself up because it's absolutely hysterical. I mean, um, he's going to kill me, he's going to come around with a bunch of lads, and the best bit, which I visualise and I'm trying to think, what does he actually mean here? But when he says, um, uh, you're a shit-covered cunt. Um, I think I just think that's fantastic. I mean, you know, what what exactly is a shit-covered cunt, and how does one get a shit-covered cunt, and um, why why would Albert Budden have the, uh, the the sort of the thought of a shit-covered cunt in his mind? I I just think that's fantastic. Now. 
funny as it is, and I'm sure you've all laughed and you, you'll rewind it and play it to your friends, um, I want to actually say to people out there, you know, that, that I give my permission for them to use this uh, recording if they want to reproduce it, put it into something funny on a YouTube video, if they want to um, remix it and turn it into a music track and sample it, that's great. If you want to do that, I'm more than happy for you to do it. So let's uh, let's get creative with the um, terrible stinking shit covered crap. Let's let's get out there and get creative. Okay then, thanks very much. I apologise to you. I apologise. I'm going to I'm going to push your fucking head in when I see you at a conference or a meeting or anything at all. No matter what I'm going to do, I'm going to get hold of you and I'm going to present your fucking little head in. Do you understand? Albert, so you please. Bloody better watch please. out that you don't run into me face to face. Please. Because I'm going to come and look for you. Don't phone me back. Don't please. contact me. And do not spread false rumors about I me. Have, I have, I have not. I mean. Do you fucking 